Morning traders, and uh, let's have a look at the DAX. So the DAX has ended up with a rejection bar or a pin bar off a monthly level. Now, before we get too deep into this, let's just have a look at where that monthly level is coming from. So you can see there's a monthly fractional or inside tail. You can see how we bounced off it a couple of months in a row here. We rejected it again here, and it looks like we're busy rejecting it again at the moment. Okay, so that level there is uh, 10,484, and then this little area here where you can see all these tails to the upside is the next area of resistance. You look there with a rejection, um, sort of use the support there, use this as resistance here before breaking through quite dramatically through that area. So that is uh, 10,800. So I think yeah, what we're seeing at the moment is we're seeing our little technical rally come to an end. And um, this is very typical of big moves to down like this. You'd normally have a fairly strong, solid move up, although this hasn't been that solid. It's been a bit erratic um, up until some level of major resistance. And then we kind of flirt with that resistance for a bit, try to get through and then basically reverse off it. So at the moment, what I'm anticipating is something like this and um, you'd be well advised to be watching out for that. Okay, so that flag breaks, you have a fairly strong move to downside. There is also a um, fairly large monthly double top here, top there, top there, bottom. We did make a fairly strong attempt at it. To get through it down here but the actual target is around 7,000 so so there is still some way to go to achieve that target okay so yeah uh, if we start looking at these areas here I just get rid of the noise um, we'll leave that monthly level in so we're aware of it so basically we've got a warning that um, we have a potential trend change here. So it's off a level, off a 200 EMA. Um, oscillators are crossed over, pointing down. So it is a warning. It's not to say it's going to happen just yet. But I would kind of expect some kind of a, a little bit of a pullback. Even another attempt at this level would be very logical for me. And then to get another rejection off that. Then there'd probably be even be a third attempt, which may fall short. And then it moves to the downside. Um, but based on the volatility going on now, it could also just be a, re a be a reversal off the top. This area here is probably the area of interest for me for a bounce, so that's 10,068. In other words, expect it to fall down to this area, expect some buyers to come in to try and drive it through. If they do get it through this level here of 10,484, then I'd expect us to pretty much tag this area of 10, 8, 10, 800. Um, but then you'll probably see diversions forming, and that would be an even stronger signal that we are coming to the end of this move. Okay, so on the hour, what has formed is start of a downward trend line. So that trend line at the moment, we want to see three or more touches of that for to start becoming a force to be reckoned with. So at this stage, two touches is good, but not good enough. So it is a potential reversal at the moment. There's no real confirmation just yet on the higher time frames. Okay, so for me today, the simple way of trading the DAX is going to be again down to a 12 or a 15 minute chart, whichever one you want to do. Uh, and for as long as we've low the moving averages, trend is down. If we break up above moving averages, look for opportunities to take profit early. Remember, you're at, month, you're at a very strong monthly level. And if you look at the rejection of this monthly level of the 12 minutes, you can see we broke through, down, rejected, 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 rejected that three times before coming down. There's my next attempt to get there, which failed. That created a lower high. Okay, and also from another bit of price action uh, it was a range break and that's a retest of the range which retests the range gives you a short entry okay so 
at this stage, I think you know, the futures markets are fairly flat right now. Um, the US markets finished flat as well after being being up quite substantially at one stage. Uh, I think they up well, just short of 3% at one stage and then they close um, fairly flat. Uh, Dow closed to 0 0.12 down, S&P 0.16 down, and the NASDAQ was 0 0.4 down. Okay. So the DAX at the moment is, DAX futures is up 0.89% right now. Uh, why? I don't know. That's bucking the trend of the rest of the market. So, oh yeah, the, I would expect you probably find either flat open or slight gap to the upside. But I am expecting another attempt higher up. So this trend line may just break. We may just get another move into the zone here before the sellers step in again. But um, I'm reluctant to be chasing longs at the moment. Okay, so based on all of that waffle, these two areas are pretty important. And what you're looking for is fractals. There's my first fractal that I need to worry about. And that's also... A fraction okay so that is the zone that we're watching so break above here expect longs don't expect the longs to run for far and uh, a break below the low of yesterday um, expect some moves to the downside and the moves to the downside are pretty much going to be First target will definitely be 10.066. Okay, after 10.066, I'll expect to bounce back to test the break on the top, then it'll be another short, and then you can start moving down and just keep adjusting your target to the one hour inside fractals here. Then your next target's going to be 9.950, then it bounce back up, and then your next target's going to be down to here. and. 9643 we'll bounce back up and then down to the bottom to close the gap then we'll have to wait and see what happens in this area because this is a pretty strong area of support here okay anyway guys um that's me for today uh hope it helps but uh keep those tops really tight and look at the, the smaller time frames and uh, just be cognizant of these two big monthly levels right above you here Okay, anyway guys, that's it for me today, hope it helps, and we'll catch you later, cheers for now.